all right folks here we are again with the the old 240 I was finally able to uh bring it to the car wash so i figured i'd bring you guys along uh i didn't want to record when i was washing it that's kind of boring but uh yeah here she is so it's a 95 240sx um got some aftermarket wheels i just put some some fresh rubber on them um you know it, it sat for uh for a couple weeks so they're still not super clean i want to go and uh i want to go home and shine up the chrome hopefully they uh they pop a little more and uh yeah she's a uh she's a project that's for sure when i bought it the uh previous owner um they just had it sitting in his driveway i guess the the clutch had gone out or something but um yeah so he let it sit for a while but for the most part it is a complete car you know bumpers are there fenders doors all the glass is there it's got a sunroof um i'm gonna be replacing the weather strip here shortly as soon as the uh weather cooperates a little more uh i had to get a new windshield for it but you know that i want no big deal um i don't know what they did with the the hood and the trunk will say it it looks like just rattle canned really i don't think they uh they did much it was just mo mostly for looks i think or uh maybe to protect the clear coat because the, the clear coat is peeling off so uh i'm gonna have to do something about that i'm not really sure if i want to paint it wrap it or uh just shoot the clear coat again I'm gonna have to bring it to a shop and see what they can do for me. But yeah, uh, so the previous owner did a uh, little bit of engine work. He put a, uh, a eBay turbo kit in this bad boy. Let's see if I can put this thing up here one-handed. Uh, there we go, something like that, perfect. All right, so, uh, so yeah, it's a KA with an eBay turbo kit. I know he did some work on the uh, the internals, but I'm not really sure exactly uh, what went down in there. When I bought the car, dang, I missed all these leaves. When I bought the car, like I said, it was sitting for, uh, I don't know how long, but um, I, I didn't get a chance to talk to the, uh, the previous owner. I was talking to his dad, and uh, his dad is the one that sold me the car, so I didn't get a whole lot of info other than you know a few receipts from uh, a local shop that tuned the car and uh, that's about it um, you know everything else I kind of have to figure out myself but uh, for the most part it's been it's been good to me um, the clutch issue that it was having I guess the uh, the slave cylinder was bad so uh, when I picked it up uh, you couldn't go into gear, so um, I was able to put it in first gear before I started the car. So I just left it in first gear and drove the car to my house. It was like half a mile down the road. So, um, so yeah, I just went ahead and drove it like that and uh, found the slave cylinder leaking after a while. So I went ahead and replaced it, and uh, that seemed to be the problem. But uh, yeah, so uh, you know I've done a few oil changes, and uh, like I said, she seems to be running good. But uh, you know I, I really can't beat on it yet because the uh, the rear end has some play in there. So uh, I'm gonna have to find me like a, a different uh, rear end for it. I know some people have been doing like uh, J30s or something like that out of the uh, infinities but i'm not really sure i really don't want to show you the interior but let's go in here anyways so i've been working in here oh, for a couple weeks now and uh so i was at first i was gonna take the headliner out and uh have it redone but i started cleaning it and uh, it cleaned up pretty good so uh the fabric is still good so i think i'm just gonna leave it alone i'm gonna keep it off until i replace the weather strip up here um, but I'm gonna need uh, some some help for that. I have to get a, a couple of my buddies over to help me out. <clears throat> Other than that, uh, once that weather strip is back uh, back up there, 
And then uh, we can put the headliner back and uh, I'm gonna do some more soundproofing back here on the quarter panels and uh, a little more in the trunk. But uh, yeah, for the most part, the car is uh, rust free. You now the carpet is dirty, the uh, seat is dirty. I already cleaned the other seats out and uh, but yeah, everything is here. Dash is not cracked, so uh, kind of happy about that. Uh, the passenger side window does not roll down. Uh, I think the motor might be shot. I'm not really sure. I haven't had a chance to uh, look into that. But uh, other than that, um, I don't think there's uh, a whole lot to do. Other than touching up the uh, speaker covers there, um, you know, shampooing the carpet, and uh, I'm gonna see if uh, if I do like a double den in here, that'll uh, you know clean up the dash real good. And um, that so AC works, uh, heat works. What else? I'm having a little issue with uh, the fuel gauge. Uh, she is not going up or down. She's not reading anything. So I'm going off of the uh, the odometer right now. So it's got some gauges up here: oil pressure, um, air to fuel ratio, uh, boost gauge, and. Uh, I think it's oil temperature up there uh, so the temp gauge does work up here so that's good speedometer tachometer they both work um, what else windshield wipers work lights work they all work uh, the only thing that doesn't work in here uh, is the cruise control for some reason I'm not really sure why um, so the light will come on up here in the dash but uh, when I go and press the set button on the steering wheel, uh, nothing happens. It just, you know, uh, it just kind of ignores me. Uh, the steering wheel is a little weathered, but uh, there's nothing, nothing too, uh, too crazy yet. It's not falling apart on me, so I think I'm just gonna keep it. Looks like the uh, airbag has seen better days. I don't know what happened here. It's not cracked open, so it didn't blow, but uh, it looks like the uh, the sun might have got to it or something. I don't know uh, What else what else we got here? Uh, the trunk there's nothing in the trunk, so I'm not gonna worry about that So I gotta figure out what's up with these seats and uh, Other than that like I said, she's been good I can't really complain about it. So uh, Dual exhaust We got a dual exhaust. I'm not really sure what brand she is so uh yeah sorry about that we're gonna have to get up under the car and see what we got we got drilled and slotted uh brakes and uh she's gonna need some suspension work because the uh the shocks they're they're just done you know, anytime we uh we get on the gas she'll uh she'll squat pretty hard so uh yeah oh and uh, I also had to get a new battery for it, but you know, that's it's not a big deal. This little guy seems to be doing the job just fine. I need to do something with these wires though. The uh the clamps here they're they're loose and um sometimes the uh the car won't start because uh you know the cables are loose so I gotta come up here and mess with that. But uh yeah other than that she's good mine. Cool. So, uh, you know, hopefully I get a chance to uh, clean up these uh, interior pieces. Yeah, you can clearly see here, there's no rust on the inside. Pretty much no rust anywhere, really. So I'm kind of happy about that. So hopefully uh, I get to bring you guys along and show you the weather strip on the sunroof and the progress on the interior. So. Uh, hope to see you guys soon and thank you for watching.